Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be answering your question on why I made this table 8 foot 6 by 4 foot 6. So I made this table size with a working envelope of 8 foot by 4 foot. And in order to do that, I just added 6 inches to the length. So here's what I mean by this. A common dimension that we use in fabrication, welding, woodworking, a material is a standard 4 foot by 8 feet. Okay, and take a look at this sheet of plywood. Even though that this is a weird shape, the length of this plywood comes in four feet wide, okay? So if you actually wanna have a table that's usable, we need to have the table a little bit bigger, and that's why I did it. This is a great representation of why the table is just a little bit bigger. I actually consider this table a four by eight table, and I actually call it a four by eight plus. And it's for the usability, to be able to clamp something all the way around the perimeter. And what you're probably gonna say is, Jason, turn it to the other side if you wanna use the four by eight. Well, look at that. This is a perfect example. The part hangs over the edge, okay? So the table needs to be able to work with the material we have access to. And that's the simple short answer to that. And by adding an extra six inches all the way around, we actually get 20% more surface area. Can you believe that? So when you're shopping around for your four by eight table, just remember that that's really not the usable surface area that you're actually gonna get. So keep that in mind. I like building things with the four foot dimension if I can, because it divides evenly into a 20 foot stick of material, gets the best yield out of it. And so therefore it gets used a lot. So why not design a table to accommodate that four foot and that eight foot dimension properly? So you're probably gonna say, Jason, why didn't you just make this table five foot by 10 foot? Well, I consider that a totally different category of welding table. Now we're starting to get even larger. If we wanna stick with this four by eight category, this is the table for that. And also the reach. This is probably my most comfortable table to work off of because I can comfortably stand on the edge of the table, reach out here, and that's gonna be about right in the center. And that's gonna be two and a half feet or so. And when you start getting to the five foot long tables, you're really starting to reach over and sometimes you even have to climb on top of the table. So as far as comfort goes for a welder, this is probably the best fit. And then if the table ever needs to grow, we can always add a section of table on the side or we can extend fixtures if we need just a little bit extra length. But generally, this is gonna be what you're gonna be using most of the time is just the initial table surface. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this answers your question on the welding table size. If you have more questions, there's gonna be some information on the Fireball Tool website for you. So check that out. But I look forward to answering more in the future and I'll see you guys on the next one.